get these in. Ooh. They're not as bright as I wanted them to be, but oh well. That's so weird. They're literally like purple. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to another video so today I'm going to be doing something a bit different I'm basically going to be recreating one of my mum's modeling photos and I was just going through them the other day and I was like why not just recreate it in a video so um, I thought it was a really good idea I put some pictures here of my mum she used to do quite a bit of modeling before like here and there especially when she was much younger these were like more like I think in her 30s I think but um yeah, I'm doing the one where she's kind of like looking to the side with the white top and I kind of created the same makeup. So yeah, I guess this is a little video dedicated to my mum and yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Before I go, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one goes to London's Rock. Yeah, London's Rock. Thank you so much for the love and if you guys want to get a post notification shout out next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button and when you have done so, comment below when you have and yeah I pick it can be anyone I explain it every time but I pick people who show a lot of support or who just comment done in the comments below so yeah I think that's all I have to say I hope you guys will enjoy this video and before you go subscribe and hit that thumbs up button I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye okay so the first thing that I did was pop in my contacts which are from Mesmerize they weren't as bright as the ones my mum had but it's okay it's a shame but it's alright Oh well, I feel like they didn't do anything. I put my hair back with this thing, a headband thing. <laughs> and then I'm going to start off with my brows. I'm using this sleek eyebrow pencil and this is the darkest shade. And again, I'll link everything in the info box. And yeah, I'm just filling in my brows. And if you see me looking away, it's because there's this damn fly that was really bugging me and I couldn't get it out. Um, and it was a really massive fly, like I couldn't even bear it. Like it just kept coming close to me. But anyways, I'm just filling in my brows as usual and then I'm using the sleek brow gel in the darker shade as well but it's a bit more on the reddish side but I feel like because it's a bit lighter and more on the reddish side it kind of gives dimension to my brows like make them look fluffier. I also went in with the NYX Gotcha Covered Conceal and Golden just to clean up my brows and carve them out. This really really helps you to define your eyebrows. I don't know if you guys have tried it. I mean I feel like everyone does this nowadays but it just cleans them up and I mean it does make them look extra like clean and perfect but you could totally skip this step if you want more like natural effortless brows but yeah I'm just filling in and then I am going to go into my eyes I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan San as my eye base this makes a really good eye base and you guys know it's one of my favorite concealers ever um, and I'm just blending this with a brush these brushes are like from Amazon and ebay they're called tonsi so t-o-n-s-e-e -E brushes um and they just come in the sets then i'm using this nyx eyeshadow and i know my mum was wearing lilac eyeshadow on my eyes i could see it like very faintly so yeah i just used this one color all over the lid she didn't have really like complicated eyeshadow or anything like that and i used this fluffy brush again from one of the sets of amazon you can use any like tonsi sets they're like a really good brand and i've used a lot of their brushes i always get asked a lot of times but they come in like sets and i use a clean buffing brush as well just to like really blend out the edges i'm also using this ColourPop eyeshadow in a maze and i'm just popping this really into the inner corner but these damn nails weren't working with me i swear down like next time i get my nails done i'm definitely doing them doing them much shorter because i literally can't do anything with them and i get really frustrated but yeah i use the brush and put this on the inner corner bit now i'm using some of the saint or Cina eyeliner from primark it's actually a really really good eyeliner and i went more like downwards and straight with the eyeliner because that's what my mom tends to do with her eyeliner most of the time and I actually think think it, look, it looks good like I go really high with my liner but I felt like this time it just really like looked nice so I'm gonna do this way often so instead of going really up with the flick I just basically went more outwards and straight and I really like the way it looked I also then went in with the makeup wipe just to sharpen it up curled my eyelashes this is an Avon eyelash curler and then I'm using the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara and I popped a lot of mascara on 
and I think the fly made a comeback in this bit. Oh yeah, it did. There you go. Don't look. Mm -mm. I wasn't having it. <laughs> I went back on to putting some mascara on, and now I'm gonna put some Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Y four four five. I haven't used this in a long time, but it's actually really nice when you use a little bit, and just buff it in. So yeah, I just put a little bit all over my skin. I already moisturised this morning, so I didn't put any moisturiser. Um, and I also had my SPF on. I was just casually buffing in my foundation and I looked to the side and I see my cat. Basically, I was trying to get the fly out and I opened my window and my cat literally went out the window. I was downstairs, so it's okay, but I ran out the door with like half my foundation buffed in and he literally ran away from me, but... I still have to get him up back, he's still outside, he just hangs out in the garden, like he went into someone's garden so I couldn't catch him. But anyways, I continue with my video, just buffing in, look, oh goodness. <laughs> After my foundation I went in with the concealer again with a brush and I just applied this very lightly under my eyes. This concealer is very full coverage so you only need a little bit, I actually put a lot to be honest but um, the beauty blender just absorbs a lot of the product and you know make sure that there's not too much but when you do it with the brush I only need a little bit and you can see it makes such a big difference um, and after that I did also use the Bare Minerals concealer in a darker shade and I'll link the I'll write the darker shade in the info box the shade of it I mean um, and I just use this to contour and kind of bronze as well I really really like the shade of this one it's actually a really really nice bronzy shade for me I went under my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, on my jawline and then I did take a Zoeva foundation brush and just buffed it all in and I went in between my foundation brush and the, this brush that I'm using right now just to really get like a natural kind of contoured finish, I don't want it to be too defined but it's actually really really blendable, you can work with it very easily and remember I haven't used any powder yet so make sure you do all your creams first before your powders I think everyone knows that by now but if you're really new to makeup then yeah always use your creams first and then set everything in, um, with powder afterwards I did fast forward a bit here because it was actually a very long process I was just blending just make sure you take your time blend you know don't rush it and also use a small eyeshadow fluffy brush just to blend the nose contour and it actually works really well I actually really like this Bare Minerals product to contour with um, and then what do I do next? I think I grabbed my setting powder. Did I? Oh yeah, I did. This is the Beauty Bakery Flower in yellow and I just lightly set this um, all over my face, like under my eyes, um, around my mouth, nose, forehead, basically the lighter areas of my face. Um, and this is a Real Techniques blusher brush by the way. I was going to say something but I totally forgot. What the hell? Anyways. Onto bronzer, I'm using the Clinique bronzer, I'll write the shade in the info box as well. And I just basically um, set my contour with this very lightly, and I went down my neck as well just to bronze that area up. And here I'm using the Zoeva Cold Pencil, I think this is the darkest one, the noir one. And I really went heavy on the lower lash line because my mum had a very heavy lower lash line coal thing going on. And what she does is connect it to the upper liner on the outer corner. So I did connect it and use the brush just to kind of soften it and you know blend it a little bit so it wasn't too harsh. And I also went right into the inner corner because she did do that as well. I went in with the primer eyeliner again and sh did a little point on the inner corner because I realised she did that as well. My mum had some makeup skills you know, she really did. <laughs> so yeah I just did that and my sister came talking to me at this point so if you see me talking that's why, I hope you guys don't mind. I was going to do like a talk through through this video but my brother had his mates over so it was a change of plans and I filmed really late today. Um, but anyways, onto blush, I'm using the MAC blush in Desert Rose and popped a lot of that, well I tried to, but my mum had much more blush, I wish I put a bit more blush on, um, but she did have a lot of blush on. I then you mix these two NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, again the shades it will be in the info box, and I mix the two to get the perfect colour and I use a lip brush to apply this. I actually find it really, really easy to apply lip product with a brush, it's just so much more precise. And then I also went in with the Fenty Gloss Bomb 
right on the top just to give it more of that shine because I could tell in the photos that she had a really really shiny lip so yeah I just popped that on top I'm actually halfway through this gloss bomb can you actually believe how much I use this gloss and I say I'm not a gloss person but anyways that's the end of this video guys I hope you enjoyed it let me know what type of videos you want to see next time and I will see you in my next video bye guys